Understanding Fat Adaptation. So in this part three, we're gonna talk about fat adaptation. So in part one, I've given you an overview of, for beginners about the carnivore diet. In part two, I explained briefly about insulin resistance. And this is now about the mechanics behind why the carnivore diet works. So as you would have seen in part two, the body with insulin resistance has got an issue because it's got high carbs, which is high glucose in the blood system, issuing um, insulin to try and counteract and to store the excess glucose and the cycle that goes on there. The idea of fat adaptation is to do with the fact that within carnivore, by having a lifestyle that works on a low carb, high fat, high protein diet, like the carnivore diet, in your blood system, there is very little glucose being used to generate energy. So the body will do its secondary source of gathering fuel, and that is by burning fat. Now fat is turned by the liver into ketones and is then put into the blood system to energize the body as well as the brain and the other organs, as so they desire. Now the advantage of using fat as a fuel it's slower to break down and it takes longer to do. So therefore you're not having hunger pains and cravings for additional because your body's being satisfied with the fuel that is. I am aiming to do further research into fueling the body on fat because I believe from what I've read so far and I want to get more detail on it, that a fat energized body has a lot more endurance, a lot more strength, and a lot more benefits than a carb one, which is a much more short-lived fuel source. But we'll cover that in another video. So by breaking down the fat and creating ketones for the body to, to absorb that fat energy, as explained in part two, the body has three main storage areas. One, the liver, two muscles, and three fat cells. By having a low carb diet, the body will automatically trigger the requirement for additional energy to come from its fat storage sources. So the liver will break down the fat that it's storing and create ketones. The fat cells will release some of its storage in order to service the body as it, as it so desires. And interesting enough, the muscles that are quite a selfish part of the body will break down the storage within its own muscle tissue and use it purely for the muscles. So the organs and the brain, etc., need what the liver can produce and what the fat cells release. Now, one of the craziest things about this diet, you need to have plenty of fat in order to lose your body fat. I know that sounds totally ridiculous, but it's true. And I even mentioned in the previous recordings that I went through a couple of cravings of having more fat because my body needed the fat levels. I'm going to look in more detail why that is in another video. There is a lot of new studies out there now that actually say that fat is the better fuel to have and why it's important to have. I hope you find these short explanations useful. Please subscribe because there's plenty of more content to come and I've got some great interviews with some great guests as well, which I think you'll find useful. Thank you for watching and let's go carnivore.